<laughs> oh, it's my favourite thing. I had forgotten that. It's glorious. That was our first back, and Martin Kemp was just, oh, my goodness, what a star. He was great at it, wasn't he? He really was. And that was the best episode. We had all the gangsters in the church, all <laughs> singing Come Bide With Me, all dressed in black with the hats on. It was brilliant. It, it really, was so really good. was. So oh. we've got to ask you, um, because it's been in the papers, and what's the, what's the story? What's happening? Is it, is it gone? I'm bit, I don't know, to be honest. I think we're not free this year. I'm not free this year. I'm doing Calendar Girls, then Annie, and then Panto, as I always do. So I never say never. This year just didn't fit in. Mm. So hopefully next year, it who can't, knows? Let's, I mean, you know how much I love it. But I, I love know you birds. do. And to be absolutely honest, we're talking about it came 30 years ago this year. Can you believe mm. 30 years? And it was trail breaking <laughs> because I think women of a certain age now. Um, had actually led a situation yeah. comedy on television. So it was completely groundbreaking. I think we had something like 300 complaints on the first episode because I think it was Pauline who said, bloody. Really? <laughs> how times have changed. But, that's, but that, do you know what? It just goes to show how much the times have changed. I mean, obviously, we know it was on BBC for all of those years, yeah, then yeah. it's come to ITV, but the fans have still stayed with it. Well, what's I mean, so funny is you ITV. used to get people as younger people watching it, then they grew up and had their own kids, and then they grew up and had their own kids. We're talking about three generations, yeah. really, 30 years this year. So never say never. Watch this space. Please. Well, that's what I see. rely on three people yeah. all being available at the same and time. And that's exactly what the ITV line is. Uh, yeah. We are open to more episodes if the time was right and all the ladies were 100%. available together at the same time. It would be lovely if you were. It would be. Well, Linda I'm and sure Pauline, sort it out. Sort it out. Have a day off. I want some more birds, please. <laughs> what yeah. birds, often do you please? watch? I watch about two episodes of Birds for Feather every day. Every night. When he says every night, he means I mean every it. night. Oh. Do you? I love it. Word for word. I absolutely love yeah. it. And, I mean, to work with this one as well, when I knew you were in today, I was beside myself. <laughs> and you are in for a very special reason, because I went to text you the other night, because you're sat sitting there naked with a cello in I front know, of you. I know, I know, I know, I know. Because I'm about to do Calendar Girls musical. Now, Calendar Girls I've done twice before, but I've never done the musical. And also, it's interesting for me this time, because before I played the character called Chris, and obviously everybody knows this is based on a real load of WI Yorkshire women who take their clothes off, you know, behind knitting. Or, mm. yes, a couple of sunflowers. To raise money for a, what they thought was a sofa in a hospital where their husband died. Mm. And, of course, we're talking £5 million later, or however million later. Mm. Um, so now this is the musical. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Yes, that's me behind the double bass. In fact, I think it's a cello. I did ask for a double bass, so you literally just saw my head and a couple of hands, but they gave that to somebody else. Um, so this is the this is the Tim Firth and Gary Barlow musical. It As is. you said, you've done the, the play twice, but I've you didn't want to play. go back there, but you wanted to do something different. You well, have I've, I've never solo done this in this one. I do. You sound so shocked, Philip. No, I'm not shocked. I'm thrilled. I mean, I was in Young Frankenstein for a year. I got I an know. Olivier nomination. Olivier nominated, may I, I know. add. Sorry. That's never going to happen again. Pick that one up was, for later. I know. Thrilled that it did happen. But I love my musicals. Yeah. So when they rang through to say... And, but also, what's lovely about this, I'm playing a different part. I'm playing the part of Jessie, who is an ageing woman. And the song that she has is about ageing. And she's saying, don't act the colour of your hair, act the colour of your heart. That's sort of... I get a bit emotional saying yeah. that. Mm. Anyway, that's what she sings. And she's... In fact, there's a line in it where she says, uh, he doesn't recognise me, does he? And the guy playing the pho taking the photographs is... She used to teach mm. as a child. Amazing. So, and, and it's wonderful. So she's got a great song. This is a whole new cast change. It's a whole new it? cast, except for one Rebecca Storm. So, which I think is great, cos it rejuvenates. And also, I think this year is... I think it's the 20th year of the calendar. It's crazy. Which is extraordinary. And people are still fascinated by this story, and rightly so, because I think there's a lot of drama, there's a lot of conflict going on at the moment, mm. but this is a real feel-good based on a very tragic episode, but a real feel-good where people got together as a team mm. to raise money for an incredible charity, and it's still happening. And this is what... This actual musical is very much about a team effort. So it's a group of fantastic women all getting together to do this calendar. And I'm hiding behind a bit of knitting. Well, at what point in rehearsals? Because you, I think you do you start well, rehearsals. When do you take your clothes off? Is what when, you're going what's to say. The, yeah. When's the first day when he's when when someone says, right, okay, then let's all get to know each other. Weapon well, get off. <laughs> well, when we did it originally, when I did it for the photo call, there was a moment in there where they said, okay, now everybody take your clothes off, and there's <laughs> sort of like. A, 
a silence and everybody sits there. Dorian would love it, of course. I was going to say! Taking, there's men taking the pictures. <laughs> so everybody sits there and they say, OK, and then you do it and then you have a dress. But it's all really discreetly done. The only people who really see complete nudity are the people on stage and the people in the wings. You do wonder why there's a queue of people waiting in are the music Are you loving setting. it? Are you loving I it? I love musicals. And I love working on stage. That's why I came into the business. It's my passion. I love musicals. I'm tackling a new part now. I've never done this part before. Um, so that's going to be exciting. One thing that I always... I mean, you've never been shy about your age. You're very no. forward in saying, I'm 73 years old, yeah. I'm living my life, this oh, is what I'm doing. Oh, you caught up. Last time I saw it, it was 72. I know. <laughs> but what, what I love about you is, is did you ever, ever think when you... Just go back 30 years, 89, when you started doing Birds. Yeah. Did you think when you were 73, you'd be up on stage doing a musical you love, getting your kit up yes, and I still do. living because your best my life? My career was never just about Birds. Birds came along and changed the course of it mm. and made me more successful. But I went into the business to act on stage. That's mm. what I love doing. Uh, success, fame, none of that ever. Was it. it was about acting. And that is my absolute... I love working with an audience. I almost like doing stand-up. Is it yoga that you... Do? Yeah, I love yoga. And is that, twice is that week, what it is? Because no, no, got... no matter how brilliant you are of mind and body and, you know, time is time. And so... And, and being on the road and being on stage is... It's hard work. Mm. Yes, it is. But, uh, again, I did Young Frankenstein for a year, and in that I was literally throwing myself on the floor every day. I did a pilgrimage, which I'll talk about another time, <laughs> where I walked to Rome, and one day I walked 18 miles with my Nordic stick. So, but I am fit. Mm. I mean, you, you know, physically fit. And I have a passion for life, and I love life, and that keeps me going. I love what I do. I love the musical scene. I love all of that. So that's what, yeah. Well, we love having you here, uh, always. And, uh, and Calendar Girls, uh, the UK tour continues, and you're in Southend-on-Sea on April the 23rd. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's lovely to see it you. It is so lovely to see you. It always mm -hmm. is. Always Thank is. Thank you.